Okay. We're at Manfred's Antiques Antique Store. I guess uh, Shelby knows him on a personal level. So we're going to do some investigating here. Manfred! Manfred! I don't know if he's here or not. Anybody home? He must be if the store is open. I was crazy to let her come with me. She's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Why is he so worried about me investigating his son? Something fishy there, maybe. No one in the store. Might be somebody in the back room. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. That'd be kind of relaxing in a way. Oh, there he is. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Good memory, oh. him. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. <laughs> celebration for meeting people. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Really old times. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Answer the phone. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Maybe he has a drink for me. Well, to old friends. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Maybe we can figure something out here. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail. Even with his glasses on, he can't see shit. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. Hmm. Yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Hmm. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Old school typewriters. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Perfect. That might narrow things down for us. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. 
Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Go give us a lead. Mm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Through the peak. Okay, you gotta keep your eyes open for what everyone's touched. Can't say why. We'll see in a few minutes. So, try and keep a, the killer's name a tab on what's be been American touched. Papers. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's gonna be disappointed. 